I'm sorry, custom 1v1 Brawlhalla. Uh, I am Drop. I am a diamond player on the US ladder. Uh, Jade will be playing. She's sitting right next to me here. She's a low silver player, and she's going to be playing some 1v1 versus Far, who is another low silver player. Uh, and I'm going to be providing some commentary on the ma on the match, talking about maybe some things they could be doing a little differently or better. We will be playing three games, and match one is here on Mammoth Fortress. Uh, Jade's going to pick up the landmine to start. Far is going to get the first item. He does take that spear. Bryn has uh, the speed advantage on Taros. Taros having both more attack and defense, though. All of his attacks will count for more. And Bryn also taking a two dexterity advantage, but Far gets hit by his own mind. Both players uh, looking to find a signature right now. Maybe a little too early in the match to be fishing for those. And Far gets punished for trying a sig with a, si a side light from Jade. Both, both players looking for their footing. That sig doesn't quite get punished, and Far is attacking out very aggressively using a combination of side lights and signatures. Right now, using side air to big potential. Jade's gonna want to look for a dodge on those uh, if he comes in aggressively with the spear. Uh, he is, and a, that's a nice weapon toss. Would have been nice to see that uh, followed up with an unarmed combo, a neutral air or a neutral light. Uh, and again, both players looking for those light attacks with the axe. Far is unarmed now, and nice weapon toss from Jade to deny the mine, and she finds the side sig. Uh, very even game right now. Far's gonna recover. He's gonna get a bomb. No weapon, though. One falls for him. Lands the unarmed side air. Uh, looking for that side light with the spear. Right now, Jade should be looking uh, for a side air. And then following up with the down air off stage to kill Far, or connecting with the signature, a side sig would kill him. Uh, and Terrace's high defense saves Jade from dying to that uppercut. Ground pound providing a lot of damage, but not any kill potential. Signature just barely missing, and both players are at extreme risk of dying. The neutral sig not good for KOing off uh, <coughs> left or right of the stage. Good for spiking, and Jade interrupts the signature with a nice side air to take the first stock and she'll be looking for just a little bit of bonus damage before she goes down here and when you're in a situation like this that far is in <coughs> oh he finds a side air but it is possible to tank one hit when you're at white and the other person is deep red to just tank one hit and then respond with uh, a potentially lethal attack and far doing a good job of covering that weapon getting some free damage on and trading his weapon for the mine uh, that's generally a good thing to do, but you do want to make sure you make use of the explosive if you pick it up, and he wasn't able to do anything there. Uh, Jade didn't pressure while he was unarmed, uh, playing it safe around the mine, and both players once again on very equal footing. And that side signature does connect. Uh, health is very even. Far playing a strong air game, risky to do versus the axe. The axe has great aerial moves. And Far taking a, an HP lead, gonna need a signature to find the KO right now. Uh, a little bit more damage in Terrace will be will be able to be taken down with a side a side light, a side air. I'm sorry. And right now the uh, recovery on the spear will probably uh, KO Terrace as well. The ground pound maybe not. Depends where on the map she is. And either either player able to die to a variety of attacks right now. Jade looking for a side air. Uh, down air off the stage or a signature. Rin looking to find a weapon, dodging out of Terrace's side signature. That axe sig does hit twice with Terrace, regardless of if the first one hits. And Jade finds a nice neutral light. Uh, finds the ground pound off the stage. Uh, she maybe uh, could have done that a little bit sooner than she did, but she finds the kill anyway. And the hammer is very good for ground pounding. There's a ton of force on it, and Far was at very high damage. There's no way he was going to live through that. And Far finds the uh, Falcon Punch to even the stocks back up once again. He's going to hold that mine to try and find that as Jade blows the horn, and he finds it, but he's going to be without a weapon here. So Jade going to want to make uh, use of that advantage, but he does get gifted uh, a spear drop and gets punished for a few more bad signatures. Using a few too many side signatures and getting punished for quite a few of them. 
And right now Jade is unarmed. Far will want to pressure that. She has the spiky ball to keep him back. He dodges the first one. Comes in with, a, again, another signature. Uh, charges another signature. Jade gets the weapon for free rather than punishing. Again, Far a signatures again and gets punished. Jade finds a signature of her own. Far just really uh, overusing the, the signatures right now and not, not really having luck with them. He has been racking up damage quickly with the spear. The spear is a good weapon for that, but he gets punished for another side signature. Jade doesn't uh, connect with the weapon toss. It is dodged. When you throw a weapon like that, Jade was spot on. If he hadn't dodged, it would have killed him. So that's a situation where she can follow up with the ground pound. Where you know that if they dodge your, your weapon toss to live, you'll kill him with the ground pound. And Far gets punished for another signature uh, with one of Jade's own. Neutral sig on the axe, Terrace. Not, not a good kill move when you're on the stage. Only good for spiking people down. But there's a side air with the hammer, and that's going to finish one finish game one. And for game two, we're going to go on to, to Thunderguard Stadium. Uh, press hey. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so Jade will be playing Terrace again. Uh, we'll see if Far sticks with Bryn. That is who he's maining. Although I believe he is interested in learning a new a new legend, which is something that we may be featuring on stream and YouTube here in the near future. Uh, so game two, Thunderguard Stadium. Game one was quite even, so we'll see how game two goes. If Far takes this, it'll uh, make for an interesting game three, tied up in the one to one. And the landmine connects on to Jade again there as she goes for that weapon. Far trying to cover the the weapon pickup with a signature. Jade's gonna avoid the horn, and Far's gonna take the bomb, not go for that weapon immediately, and lose his chance to get it. Uh, Jade finds the neutral light. Neutral light's a very strong move to counter dodge-ins, and she's going to deny another weapon. Far still weaponless, he's going to get another explosive, not going to connect with it. Going to go for that sig with Bryn again. Uh, finds another mine, uh, where he's getting all of his damage from so far this game, and the recovery on the spear. Jade ground pounds down, uh, doesn't get hit by another recovery. A slight health lead too far, but we're in a pretty even game once again, and Taros 8 attack can even that up quickly, which we just saw Jade do. Jade's gonna throw the hammer, probably looking for the axe. That is her preferred weapon. And Far is in risk of dying right now to a side air. Uh, side air won't quite finish from center stage. It will come very close. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jade just proved me wrong. It does finish. She says, I know more about Taros than you do. Uh, and Jade denying that bomb pickup and then finding a nice neutral sig, denying this weapon very strongly and looking uh, better after the first stock in this game than she did in the last. Uh, Far is charging another sig, charging sigs, very risky. And you see why Jade got into position to punish, where if he would have just thrown it out and whiffed, she may not have had time to punish that on slow Taros. Uh, and Jade is looking maybe to take two stocks in a row, and uh, the health is almost even again. And once again, Far tries to charge that signature and is punished for it. And he's still going for it, almost uh, looking for a desperation sig to try and find a kill. But the side sig likely wouldn't kill Taros right now anyway without a charge. And Jade's going to continue to punish for the missed signatures. Jade uh, could go off the ledge there and try and spike with down air on Taros. He has uh, the axe and eight, eight attack. Very, very powerful kill, kill move. But at uh, the low silver play, you see players mostly are not comfortable with chasing off, off the edge for kills, and Jade's going to be more than an entire stock in the lead. Far does find the spear, though, and he gets hit with a variety of attacks, and there's the side signature. Jade just one full stock ahead, uh, and, a, and a little bit more, and he's going to hold on to the mine here, and once again, he since he's choosing to trade weapon control for those explosives and those mines, he needs to make the most out of them. If you're going to let the your opponent take a weapon and you're going to pick up a, throw your weapon and pick up a mine, you need to make something happen on that mine. You need to pressure it or you need to hit them with it. And uh, we're seeing a few really just giving up, uh, giving up weapon advantages. 
Those are the two biggest mistakes I think that he is personally making and could improve on. Are, uh... Not throwing his weapon away so quickly, and there he just died to his own explosive. And the other one being not using those signatures at such risky times. And we're going to get on to the third and final match here. See if Far can take one of his own. Try not to get swept. We are going to go to King's Pass for the final game. And this is Bryn versus Taros. King's Pass is a stage where, in my opinion, speed comes into play a little bit more than other stages, and that is Bryn's advantage. I also find Spear to be strong on this stage, uh, as well as Axe with the shenanigan zone, uh, and the ability to hit side airs close to the edge with Spear, as well as the ground pounds in that shenanigan zone and the recoveries. And Far's going to find another landmine here. Has been accurate with those thrown explosives. He's going to choose to pitch the spear for an axe. He's going to pitch that axe too, but he picks it back up. That was a risky weapon toss. And he's going to toss the weapon again. Jade doesn't punish the pickup. Uh, he goes for another, once again, charged signature. Misses it, but goes for a second signature and is punished. Jade looking to protect that mine, but Far's going to take it. Oh, and Jade <laughs> falls onto the mine there. A, a big blunder for stock one. She has some coming back to do if she is looking to sweep this three-game series. It's another mine down from far, and Jade's not going to play near that. She says, I don't want to mess with the Master of Explosives anymore. Uh, and she will take the only weapon on the board, but far will get his own, and that is Axe on Axe. And far will find get it behind Jade and find a few hits, and he finds a signature. Uh, and he's going to pick up another landmine. Jade's going to want to look out for that, but he finds it again. Jade will need to be dodging those uh, thrown landmines since he's, once again, been very accurate. Then he's going to pitch that axe. The weapon toss does do damage, however, it is minimal. Jade almost finding the kill on that side sig. That's a power of 8 attack. Uh, she could have guarded the ledge there with a ground pound. It would have been dodgeable by far. But uh, you oftentimes don't see players in that low silver dodging uh, predictable ground pounds. And it's a very easy way to get a kill. If you've knocked someone off the stage, chase them with a ground pound. And uh, force them to dodge, or if they waste their dodge, you get a free kill. Fur will blow the horn, and Jade gets a nice scoop, and that weapon will fall into the void. Uh, Far is certainly going to go for that bomb. We've seen his play. Jade's going to want to avoid that if... Far can hit both Jade and himself with the bomb at this point in the game. Taking a stock from each, I would say that's worth it. Giving him a full stock lead and putting Jade down to one. That's not what happened, though. And Jade is, of course, uh, des she desperately wants this kill before Far uh, finds one on her. And she looks for the neutral sig, doesn't quite find it. And Far's going to take the kill. Jade will need to get the reverse three stock now to sweep the set. Uh... She's going to need to kill Far immediately and not really take any damage here for free on this stock. Every hit that Far gets right now would make it substantially harder for Jade to come back. And she finds the KO immediately, taking only one real hit of damage. Jade's going to juggle the weapons, but leave leave the uh, horn down there. Almost does a trap for Far as she catches him when he tries to pick it up. Guarding the next weapon very well, and she's doing exactly what she needs to right now, finding the damage. Far tries to go underneath King's Pass and gets caught, evening the stocks back up. And this game uh, could go either way. Jade continues to guard that weapon, and she actually now takes the lead. And Far dodges onto his own mine, uh, looking pretty shook up after that accidental death. Maybe a little tilted, going from a potential th free win to being behind. So he's going to find the item. It is Axe on Hammer here. Jade having the range on the side airs, but the Axe in general having a superior air game. And Far is going to continue to pitch pitch items, try and, try and find uh, thrown weapon damage and thrown uh, gadget damage onto Jade, using his speed and the King's Pass map to his advantage. Uh, missing a few signatures once again, though, and getting punished. Having much more success when he's using those side lights, those side airs, finding those hits. Uh, he should be using those moves... 
five times more than he is and using the signatures maybe 10% of what he is. Uh, definitely relying on them far too much for damage when the light attacks add up real quickly, especially on, on the Spear and the Axe. And Jade, again, with HP lead, that mine will kill Brain if Jade hits her into it. Does not... Uh, Far finds... Finds the bomb toss, and now it's Axe on Axe. Far is gonna pitch the weapon, pick it back up again. That does a minimal amount of damage. Uh, not even really 10% of what one light attack does when you throw your weapon. So do not get shook if you get hit by 3-4 weapon throws in a, in a row. You're looking at uh, about 7 damage. Uh, and right now, both players are at risk of dying to a signature. Jade fishing for the side sig on the hammer, and she finds the neutral sig, and that is game 3. Uh, Jade will sweep the set, uh, mostly due to that accidental white-yellow kill on far. And thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, check the YouTube channel for similar videos, commentary, and guides. And we'll catch you next time.